Hello everyone and welcome back to Geek News. Get ready because you do not want to miss out. Vote for the next Mattel Moto Attorney's Choice crowdfund item. So it is finally dropped. Our choice is going on here. Let's go ahead. Let's see what it says. It says here, Mattel's next Masters of the Universe crowdfunded items are now up for vote. You can vote for any two of the following items. Attack Track, Doom Tower, Fright Zone, Snake Lair, and Horde Crawler Tank. Pretty sweet. So it says here, the voting window closes on Sunday, September 10th at 11 p.m. 11.59 p.m. specific time. So vote now. Yes, you're gonna be able to vote now. Now, I already casted my vote on the two that I wanted. So what I'm gonna do, because I've already voted and I've already cast it, uh, they won't allow me to show the site again. It just, it, it won't take you there. So basically what I'll do is I'll copy the link to this page and then you're just gonna click on this little cast your votes here. You click that button and it will bring you right on over folks. So I'll put that in the link in the description. Basically this webpage that we're looking at right now. So first off, let's take a look. We've got the attack track. Not only is it the attack track, it's the filmation attack track. So this is indeed my number one choice. I've always wanted the attack track. I had no idea that this was even going to be a consideration. I should have known now that they can do the filmation toys and stuff like that. I should have known better, but pretty freaking sweet that this is going to be an option. Not to be confused with the toy version that we got back in the 80s, which was like a red machine. It was like a red tank <laughs> that they called the attack track. No, this is the filmation one. This is the one that they're voting for. You can see that the back kind of drops down and it even has that little extra added vehicle. It looks like it, it looks like Man at Arms' chariot or something like that kind of hanging out in the back, which is pretty sweet. Having that little extra vehicle that you're going to be able to pull out. This is the definitely the vehicle that I would vote for number one. Anyway, moving on to the next one. We've got the Doom Tower. So this is pretty interesting. I've never even considered the Doom Tower because I never really considered much filmation stuff. So once again, this is pretty interesting idea. I'm interested to see whether you're, whether or not you guys be interested in this one or not. So it'd be kind of cool. So Horde Prime's lair is what I would really like to call it. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, moving on, we've got, oh my lord, the Fright Zone. I would have never thought uh, and I did this video, recent video, where I kind of did a few predictions and I kind of voted against the Fright Zone being an option because I figured it just would have came to retail because of its size. But no, the Fright Zone is an option. So obviously they're going to upscale this. They're going to add some things in here. You get this little monster that looks like it's separate. It looks like the dungeon door is going to open from the inside. So that's kind of cool. So you can kind of put a character in there to lock him in. We got some sort of little purple tree vine thingamajig. It's got the tree going on there. It looks like it's got the articulation point, articulation point, and with the crows and of course the snake itself. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. There's the fright zone. That is actually going to be my second choice. So you're gonna be able to vote two, folks. And yeah, so I mean the Horde Tank, so you're gonna be able to do that. What were they calling it? The Horde Crawler Tank, that's right. So you're gonna do the Horde Crawler Tank. It looks like the back is going to open. I don't know if it's going to include one of these Horde Troopers because it's, he's kind of just showing it in the picture. I think it's to show the scale, not to necessarily mean that they're going to include one with it. But it'd be kind of cool if they did. And yeah, so I mean, it looks good. You got Hordak's face going on there. So a lot of filmation stuff going on here is pretty much what's going on for the most part. Uh, and then last but not least, yeah, I mean, this, they're calling it the Snake Lair, but I call it Lady Slither's Lair because that's kind of how it was originally advertised. Uh, this is kind of cool because at least I got one prediction correct. And I figured 100% that this was going to be basically one of the options. And yes, indeed, it's there. So this would have been my third choice for sure. So anyway, guys, I'm just curious to see what your votes are going to be on all these play sets and vehicles. I am very much excited for the attack track. Can't believe this is even an option. 
like it's like a dream come true it's finally here after many 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 years of wanting the filmation version of this so kind of interested to see what your guys' votes are going to be so don't forget you're going to be able to vote too you can vote right now and i'm going to put the link in there for you guys like i said i already voted for it and i didn't realize that i couldn't go back to the page after i voted or i would have just done this now but anyway guys the link is going to be in there for you folks and you guys let me know in the comments below what version of it that you're going or which two are you guys going to vote i'm very curious to know what you guys are going to vote on anyways guys that's it for today and we'll see you guys on the next one so you guys take care and until next time